What's going on YouTube? Welcome back once again to the Crazy Cycling Channel, taking a look at some bike infrastructure. This time I'm in Lansing, Michigan, where the Lansing River Trail crosses some of the, of the larger roads in Lansing. This particular road is Pennsylvania Avenue. And I did a video recently where the Interurban Trail crossed some larger roads and on the eastern side of Lansing in Meridian Township and Okemos, there are a lot of crosswalks like this that use yellow flashing lights. And I explained in those videos that I don't think that system is particularly effective. Here in Lansing, they actually use lights that turn red and stop the traffic, which is what this intersection has. So there's a segregated, you know, bike and walking trail here that crosses a large road. There's a button you can press that will turn those lights over my shoulder red for cars. However, in my experience, traffic tends to run those lights and doesn't actually stop. So I'm about to go press the button and see if the cars actually stop. As you might be able to tell, the speed limit's actually pretty high here. I think it's about 45 miles an hour and some of these cars just fly down this road. And also, as I've explained in other videos, in Michigan, there is a law that traffic enforcement cameras are illegal. So uh, people just tend to speed a lot and run red lights. It's really common in Lansing. Also, as I've been filming this, I've seen a couple people use this crosswalk and none of them have actually pressed the button to turn the light red. They just tend to wait for a gap in traffic and go. So in theory, I like the system more. In practice, not sure it's that effective, but I'm gonna wait for some traffic to show up. <laughs> then we'll press the button and see what happens. Let's get to it. All right, coming up to the intersection. Uh, Let's just go ahead and press this button now. There are a couple cars coming. See what happens. Might take a second for this to actually turn red for the traffic. Hey, they're actually stopping, amazing. Okay, so they stopped here and wave at them. Um, so yeah, that's actually not been my experience in the past. <laughs> when I was on this trail without my camera, the traffic, it kind of just ran the red lights. But let's head up to the next road, which I think is an even busier crossing and see what the traffic does there. And we'll also come back and cross this road again on my way back. I'll just show you this trail. It's actually pretty nice. It's underneath these power lines. It is a spur of the river trail. This particular section might have its own name. There are actually various trails that kind of come together in Lansing. And it's really cool. There's a millage here, which is basically a property tax that supports these trails. I think it's a county millage. So Ingham County and a lot of these types of trails benefit from that. So that is really, really cool. I uh, wish there, there were more. They don't always go where I want to go, um, but it's a great start. Uh, I'm just here kind of critiquing the infrastructure. As you know, I like to do that. So let's head over to the next road crossing and see what the traffic does. Okay, I'm coming up to the next major road here, which I think is Cedar Street. And this is the one where I distinctly remember the traffic just not stopping at all. So let's get up to the intersection, press that button, see what the traffic does. I'll try and keep the camera discreet because maybe that kind of gets people to stop a little bit more. So let's, uh, yeah, let's try and cross this intersection. amazing they all actually stopped i'm gonna go a little further turn around cross both the streets again and uh, see what the cars do and then we'll draw some conclusions uh, but so far i'm actually really impressed while we're here i just want to make the point as well that this trail is well used you saw just now that scooter rider and there have been some other cyclists on here and that just adds to the idea that if you build infrastructure you know users will come and people will use it they will get inspired to use it. People want it. There are vocal opponents to cycle infrastructure, but in general, this kind of stuff is really well received. Anyway, let's try and cross this road again. See what happens after I press the button this time. Button right here. 
It's actually just like a pedestrian signal, so nothing particular uh, for cyclists, but you know, it's just one trail, so not the end of the world. You can also see how fast those cars are going. It is a pretty high speed limit here. Um, so yeah, I just gotta wait a second. Yeah, that, that guy is definitely going faster than 45. Last with some music down here. Not turning, not turning this time. Um, you know, that is a little bit frustrating. I've seen that before, where you just have to wait quite a while. I'll just press the button again. Huh. Just, uh, you know, it's car priority. It's the land of the car. This is America. You know, it, it really is car focused. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you rev your engine. Okay, there we go. Watch this guy. He's going to run it. It's see, see, see? It's white for me, and he just ran it. <laughs> told you. I told you that was going to happen. It's so common. Um, yeah, they just don't care. And there's no repercussions because you can't have a red light camera there. In my opinion, you got to put cameras up, and you got to find these people a lot. I mean, traffic calming would be nice too, but I get it. It's a major road. But yeah, you got you got to find these people. And uh, I think the Michigan legislature needs to, you know, pass a different law that allows you to, you know, put up some, you know, tra red light cameras, that kind of thing. I've been, you know, I've been to Cleveland, Ohio, and there are cameras all over the place there. And cars drive a lot more slowly because of it, because there's actually a repercussion for it. The ideal is infrastructure that, um, you know, prioritizes uh, bikes and pedestrians and at least takes the burden for their safety away from car drivers because cars are dangerous. And, um, you know, it, I guess it's the opposite. Sorry, it's bikes and pedestrians are kind of responsible for their own safety in a world dominated by cars. And that's just backwards to me. I think that cars should have a much higher responsibility for the safety of pedestrians and cyclists. And because pedestrians and cyclists are so much more vulnerable, I think that infrastructure should, should be designed with their needs in mind. Um, but as we saw here, you know, these cars, they don't really care. Let's cross Pennsylvania again, see if there's another red light runner there, and then we'll draw some final conclusions. Okay, we're coming back up to Pennsylvania Avenue here. Uh, same thing, we'll just try and cross this road, maybe try and wait for a big group of cars. Pretty quiet right now, but I'll delay for a sec here, press that button, and see if we get some red light runners. So. Oh, there's a big group coming there. All right, let's see what happens. Big group of cars coming on that way. Actually, both ways. Again, see the speed of these cars. Oh, hey, they turned green. Hey, everyone stopped. That's amazing. Okay. Okay, I can respect that. All right, let's uh, stop somewhere and just have some final conclusions about this infrastructure here. Okay, so what's my conclusion about bike infrastructure? like this. Well, I definitely like this way more than the flashing yellow lights because it's clear, right? It's, it's very, very clear stop when the light is red. The yellow flashing lights are really just a warning light and it's still really ambiguous. You know, the cars don't really know whether or not they should stop. The pedestrians don't really know whether or not they should go. They still kind of have to wait for there to be a gap in the traffic because you can't really trust that the cars are going to stop for you. Even though the law is clear, if you're in the crosswalk as a cyclist or a pedestrian, you have the right of way and the car should stop. But in practice, it doesn't really work that way. There's a lot of ambiguity and I just don't like that at all. This I like because it's clear. You know, when you press a button, the light turns red, the cars are supposed to stop, the pedestrians and the cyclists can go. In practice, as you saw, there was a situation where the car didn't stop at all. They didn't even slow down. They just went right through it. Most of the cars did actually stop but it's not unusual for them not to stop. So I still think it kind of places more danger and more of a burden to be careful on the cyclist and the pedestrian. You know, you are still responsible for your own safe safety. Uh, it's not infrastructure that's really designed to force the cars to slow down and stop, either through some kind of traffic calming or through enforcement. And in the case of this kind of a road, especially in the US, given you know, the, the car-centric nature of the whole country, 
I think some really strict enforcement would go a long way towards getting people to actually slow down and stop. You know, find them a lot, like 200 bucks, like 500 bucks, and that'll slow people down. Um, so it's okay. It's, it's better than the yellow flashing lights. Um, it's reasonably safe but there's still a way to go to make it so that you're not constantly worried about getting hit as a cyclist or a pedestrian. So hope you enjoyed that little video. Thanks as always for watching. I do have a couple more ideas about infrastructure type videos to do here in Lansing. So look forward to those. Thanks for watching, take care and have a great rest of your day.